Welcome to Electron Online. Here we need to show that the sine cube of a is equal to one quarter the quantity three times the sine of a minus the sine of three a. Now we can use the technique used in video number 19 in this playlist to starting starting with the sine of three a and derive this expression. What we're going to do here is show that this expression is indeed correct, that this is indeed the proper way of writing the sine cube of a in its equivalent expression. So what we're going to do first is multiply both sides by 4. So that ends up being 4 times the sine cube of a is equal to 3 times the sine of a minus the sine of 3a. Now we're going to rewrite this as 3 times the sine of a minus the quantity the sine of 2a plus a. So write it as a sum of two angles and see what we end up with. All right, so this is equal to 3 times the sine of a minus, and we'll put in brackets, the sine of 2a plus a, which is the sine of 2a, cosine of a plus the cosine of 2a times the sine of a. And then, of course, we can write these as the sum of two angles and work that out to see what that gives us. So this is equal to 3 times the sine of a minus. So the sine of 2a is the sine of a plus the sine of a. Hmm. So the sine of 2a can be written as 2 times the sine a cosine a, because the angles are the same. And then we'll multiply it times the cosine of a plus the cosine of 2a, well, that would be the cosine square of a minus the sine square of a, because we end up with the cosine of a times the cosine of a minus the sine of a times the sine of a, and we're going to multiply the times the sine of a, like this. And let's close, close the bracket. All right, simplifying that, we end up with, this is equal to 3 times the sine of a minus 2 times the sine of a times the cosine square of a plus here we get the sine of a times the cosine square of a minus the sine cube of a. All right. Now I need to be careful with the, the signs because I have a negative here and I took the brackets away. So that gives us negative this minus this. So that's minus, so I need to be careful. I'm going to go ahead and keep the brackets around it like that, just to make sure I don't make any mistakes with the signs. All right, so make sure I got this correct. So I have a negative brackets, two sine a, cosine square of a, plus cosine square a sine a. So this should be sine a, I'm missing an a there, cosine square of a, minus sine cube of a. All right, now I can take the brackets away and apply this negative sign and maybe combine some things here. Let's see, I have a sine a cosine square and two of them, that gives me three of them and a minus. So this becomes three sine of a minus three sine a cosine square of a. And the minus applied to minus becomes plus sine cube of a. And of course, all this is equal to four times the sine cube of a. So that's still going, right? So keep that going. All right. Now we're going to write the cosine square of a in terms of one minus the sine square of a. So let's do that. So this is equal to three times the sine of a minus three times the sine of a times one minus the sine square of a plus the sine cube of a. And then working that out, this is equal to 3 times the sine of a, a minus 3 times, 3 times the sine of a. So this should cancel out. Hmm, that's interesting. And then this times this, that gives us plus 3 times the sine cube of a, and then plus the sine cube of a. All right, so continuing that on the left side, we have four sine cube of a is equal to. So we show that this cancels with that. 
and then 3 plus 1 gives us 4 sine cube of a, which of course is equal to one another. So if this is true, then we can say that this is true, and so therefore we have shown that this is indeed the equivalent form for the sine cube of a, and that is how it's done. At least one of the methods, again, we could go to the technique we use in, in video 19 and use that technique to come up with the same result. And that is how it's done.